Welcome everyone for the Pro Trading Club. Today is 26th of February and let's get started. So in Pro Trading Club, I generally give you the view for the next week. So let's get started with what is expected in the next week, what I told you last week and uh, how actually things have worked as per that. Let's look at the uh, scenario about what I had told you last week. So one second. Let me share you the charts and what I had told you last week. So this is what I had told you last week. I told you very clearly market is going to be remaining more on the sideways to negative side. It is more on the negative side only which I had told you. And I also told you we may start experiencing a mini bear market. And this is not only now, this can actually continue. This is not something which is actually going to get over soon. See, the Russia war is just one of the tip of the iceberg. Don't think that Russian war is the only thing which is there. So there are many other things. The inflation is one of the major problem. Now the crude oil crossing this $100 per barrel is another problem. So there are so many challenges which are there. The Fed rate high, how much high is going to happen? All those things are actually going to play a major role. On top of that, uh, to add more uh, fuel to this fire, we have the semi margin rules which are coming up. One of the things which they have postponed it, which is uh, uh, the SEBI has actually imposed about this. Uh, uh, so what happens is whatever stocks you have, you can blend the stocks and also use that margins. So earlier we could use 100% of it. Now what they are saying is you can only use 50% so 50% you should still have in cash. Now this is something which will reduce the volume to a very large extent, especially in all the HI investors who are using that for hedging and all. Now they are also using some trading. Now all those things volume will actually come down. So that is one major challenge and uh, the T plus one day uh, settlement that is actually not liked by the FIS. FIS were not actually in for it, but even after that, the implementation has started from yesterday. So this is also uh, something which if you have been seeing, FIS have been continuously selling. They have not stopped selling. Now, with this geopolitical pressure, if the FIS selling is actually happening, we need more buying power to come in from the DIS. Now, where will DIS have strength? I'll actually tell you. And uh, that is where we can probably look at the DIS taking full control. And uh, till then, actually, FIS will still have a lot of control. FIS had lost control at a place. And that is a place where we will be uh, looking at DIS to regain their control. Till then, I don't expect that market is going to uh, be in any way they will be able to regain the control. So this is what I had told you last week. I had told you Nifty is more bearish and all rallies are selling opportunities. Look at this, this is exactly what I told you last week. 17,000 to 17,400, that was the range which I had told you last week. And if we break 17,400, 17,600 could be achieved. And if we break 17,000, 17,800 could be achieved. That is what I have told you. We went much below that. Now, one of the major thing is 16,800 was a very, very important support. And that has been breached with great volumes. Okay, so now that is also our 200 DMA and the 200 DMA is going to be easy right now. If you look at this place, the 16,800 level, this is the place. If you see, we have taken support one time, two time, three time, fourth time here, fifth time here, fifth time, sixth time, seven, eight, Nine. So if you look at this, so many times it has taken support. So it was a very, 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 very strong support. Now that major support has been broken. So now this is going to become a resistance. So according to me, 
the range now is going to shift more downwards so when i say more downwards probably this would be in the range of 16000 to 17000 according to okay now if we break 17000 probably uh, 17150 is possible but it is looking very distinct but still it cannot be ruled out maybe 200 also okay but if we break 16000 then we can also go towards 15800 or 15500 also now this is a very important place 15500 is very very important place so will we reach this or not we don't know see currently what we have to see on monday very very important on monday because uh, yesterday if you see uh, us market has closed positive so us market closing being positive can affect the market but at the same time so the, what happens is it can trap more buyers accordingly so now look at this this is a huge gap this is an extraordinary gap which is there now this gap now bulls will try their best to fill this gap but bears should not allow this to happen but even if they allow it to happen at the higher level they will actually take control so this place they will definitely take control okay this place they will definitely take control and here where can we go so 17000 17200 is possible only if they take control but if suppose we open somewhere in the midway or below and start going down then bulls have no control i don't see much of a uh, opportunity from the bulls uh, but still there is a possibility there is possibility cannot be ruled out if we are trading above yesterday's high then there is uh, there is a very highly possibility that it will try to fill this gap but if we start trading below yesterday's low then market will fall further much faster so if any scope is there it can happen on monday or tuesday otherwise actually it is more in favor of the bear zone so even if they try it is going to be a failed attempt it will not it will be uh, people who are going to buy are going to get stuck much more badly because see here if you look at technically this is a head and shoulder pattern so this is a head this is sorry this is a shoulder and this is the head and this is the second shoulder and now breaching of the neckline is done and we have retested also see retesting is also done if you see the neckline is somewhere around this place this is the place where the neckline is there so we have almost reached a little bit of thing is there it may actually go and test this this is no this is the, nothing this cannot be ruled out it can test this even if it doesn't test also it is perfectly okay now this neckline the target is coming at 15500 okay 15500 to 15300 is what is expected and that is where we have a good strength okay so this is what is expected so we have to see how this is going to turn out it is going to fail only if we start trading above this see this is the thing this is the uh what do you say this is our uh, shoulder above this it has to go see sometime it can go beyond in between up here somewhere and it may come down also it is possible it cannot be ruled out but uh, this is a very strong pattern and this has taken a lot of time to build so since it has taken a lot of time to build it is something which is going to be happening so if you look at this this has happened from december january february march so almost february so almost three months it has actually built on this entire thing it has taken almost three months to build this whole thing the distribution pattern and it should actually uh, give us the target so there's a very high possibility that we are going to test that 
So, and there will be a lot of sideways movement. Don't expect one side movement. It can have a lot of sideways movement, but wherever it actually tries to give you an up move, it will have a challenge holding on to that. Okay. So by chance tomorrow, Monday, we even go higher. It is difficult to sustain. So please understand that. Don't get confused that we have got a reversal. It is not a reversal, number one. Second thing is, uh, this. there is still a lot more things which are actually ahead of us. Number one is the Fed Reserve's uh, monetary policy. That is something which is much more important and the whole uh, market is going to be closely watching that. So that is more important and there are many more uh, instances which are actually going to come. So this is my view on Nifty. So Nifty, we are expecting it to go further down. So, the, so all these up moves, unlikely to hold. So that is something we need to be clear about. Now let's actually go to Bank Nifty and see where Bank Nifty has a strength and the resistance. Okay, so if our bank nifty also, if you remember, this is what I had told you last week. I told you the range will be 36,500 to 37,500. And if we break 37,500, there is an upside which can happen. And if we break 36,500, we can go towards 36,000. And you can see exactly we have done the same thing. Now, what is the range we are looking at? We are looking at the range between Probably this is where we have tested. Okay. Maybe we will actually test this or probably go below this also. According to me, it could be somewhere in the range of 34,000 to 36,000, maybe 37,000. Let us keep this as a buffer. So if 37,000 is broken, maybe we will go towards 37,500, but that is looking quite unlikely to happen. Okay. And if we break this, okay, let me actually put this as 35,000 only, whatever was there. Now, if 35,000 is going to break, we will go towards 34,000. 34,000 should act as a good, strong support. Okay, so that is what I'm actually, what I'm saying is it will be probably between this to this. Here also we have an opportunity to fill this gap. If by chance we fill this gap, then bears, bulls are taking some amount of uh, advantage, but still uh, they are not strong. Okay, even if they go ahead, here the selling will again come. After filling the gap, again the selling is going to come. Now, on the other hand, if we start below this and go down, there is all the possibility even 34,000 can also be breached and we may actually go towards 31,000 or 32,000. And that is a very strong support. So there is further downside which is there. So don't expect one-sided network, number one. And don't expect a market to actually go up faster. See, even though reversal is going to come, it is not going to be easy. It is not going to actually go up like crazily like last year. It will not do that. It will be doing more of sideways movement. Expect for the next three to four months, market to be more on the sideways zone only. And here you will get a lot of good opportunities to buy good quality stocks. Okay, so my expectation on the downside where we are seeing some amount of bulls taking control for bank nifty is this. I'll give you the levels, make note of these levels, very, very important levels. By chance 34,000 is broken, it is possible that we can come further down. One second, this, this is an important level. See this one. This is where the, before the COVID crash, the main bull market peak was somewhere around 32,000. So 31,000 to 32,000, that is a very, very, very important level. So this, even though by chance it comes here, it will not actually go below this. 
That means see, see, there could be possibility it will go. Like it is like our 16,800 level. If you remember, I had told you earlier, during the Omicron crash, 16,800 is going to fold. And that is a very good level where you will get trapped if you are trying to short. Now, this is a place where you will get trapped if you are going to short. Okay, 31,000 to 32,000 level for bank nifty. Make note of this. See, 34,000 is a good place. Probably 34,000 will try to its best to hold. But if the panic is too much, then it will not hold that also. So it may come towards this. But this level is very likely to hold. Okay. So it's very likely to hold. So this place you have to note down 31,000 to 32,000 or 30,000 to 32,000. You can actually keep that a range. And this is a place you have to start looking for opportunities for buying good quality banking stocks okay and for nifty also i'll give you the levels for nifty the level will be between 15000 to 15500 15000 see this level i'll show you this level see this is a place where market market was very much sideways so this is a place where FIs have sold heavily. So this could have been a distribution mode where they could have taken the prices down. But bulls have completely dominated here. So if that is mainly our DIS have dominated here and taken the market higher. If you saw only Indian markets were able to do much better, rest of the world market from here has been moving in a sideways pattern. So we have been able to hold this. So this level, by chance, it will come and break also. It is unlikely to go below this. Okay. So this level below this also, this level is also good. Okay. So from here till here, there is a lot of accumulation which has happened. So you can note this level somewhere between 15,000 to 15,500. 15,000 to 15,500 is a level at which we will expect a reversal to come in or this will be a place where you will again start seeing that market will get into this sideways zone so don't expect market to straight away reverse from these places probably it may not be easy for the market to reverse and start doing earlier days it has actually kept on moving higher wherever that reversal come bounce was also very high but we are not expecting such a thing to happen for a lot of reasons. I have given you earlier also the reasons. First and foremost thing, because the Fed hike is happening, the major challenge will be that the liquidity will be not that great. So liquidity will dry out, number one. Second thing is LIC, IPO is going to come. It is going to suck away a lot of liquidity. So at least for the next three to four months, don't expect market to give some crazy up bounce. It is possible that 300, 500 points move is possible, but don't expect something like it has gone a thousand points, 2000 points, like it has done in the past, in the last year, it is unlikely to happen at least for the next three to six months. So if I have to look at this, any sort of things can start happening only somewhere in the month of uh, September, October onwards. That is where it may actually gain some strength and some big trend where market can start getting into the new highs and all. Those things are unlikely to happen at this stage. So that is my view currently of the market. If you have any queries, any questions, I, I will actually take all your questions. I think uh, I have given you my broader view on the market, what you can expect for the next week, and you can plan accordingly. So, see, the biggest challenge is market may go down, but again, it may bounce. So what happens is you have to be very careful because market is in more of a sideways market, but at the same time, it is more on the negative side. The bias is more on the negative side. So you have to actually be very careful. Long positions will have challenges. Okay. So any questions, guys? Any of you have any questions related to whatever we have discussed?
Are we clear about the levels? Are we clear on the levels? Anything else you want to know, guys? See, right now I'm not actually sharing my uh, swing trades or uh, positional and uh, multi baggers for the main reason being this: the market is too volatile. This is not ideal, but at the same time, this is very ideal for you to start looking for good quality stocks and start accumulating all the stocks which have beaten down a lot. They are actually getting uh, in an attractive place. For example, Zomato is getting attractive, guys. Now this is a place where you can start accumulating a Zomato. I don't see much of a downside here, so it's not. I am not seeing much of a downside. See, downside risk may be another uh, maximum, another ten uh, twenty rupees here and there. So I don't see much of a downside here. See the true valuation is somewhere around seventy seventy five rupees for this stock. So I'm talking purely from the fundamentals. So if you are getting anything cheaper than that, that is great. See, currently you are getting from the listing price. We are getting price much cheaper than the listed price. Okay, and if you look at this <laughs> from the peak where it had gone almost around one sixty eight rupees, you if you see almost fifty percent discount you are getting. So on on top of that, I told you as I told you earlier also. It is a fair valuation, so valuation is fair. So you can start accumulating at this stage. Zomato is a good stock. You can start looking at that. Even Paytm, though people are actually talking hundreds of things about this, I don't see much of a downside here. Maybe seven hundred. See, I had told you nine hundred to thousand uh, hundred, but uh, I see that it has gone still further down. I had told you that it has to start forming a base. I think now it will start forming a base. And if you look at this from the IPO price, uh, and uh, I think it had gone almost around two thousand rupees. From there, it is available at very very cheaper price. So downside here, I think, is quite limited. Not more than five to ten percent downside is possible here in this stock. Valuations are fair here, so this is place where you can also start looking for accumulation. Okay, even Nike, I think, is uh, looking better off. One second, let me see. Nike, uh, yeah, this one. Nike Fashions. This is also getting fair valuations. If you look at the peak, was somewhere around two and a half thousand. So we are almost half the price. So possible that another hundred to hundred points uh, it may come down also. But I think this is a fair valuation. This is where you can start looking at accumulating all these stocks. All these stocks are already a part of Nifty Next 500. Okay, so Nifty Nifty Next 50, Next 50 or something they have added, and even for the Nifty 500 they have been added. So even uh, even our uh, exchange is actually understanding that these stocks are good from that perspective. So. Look at that. These stocks will be picked up by all the mutual fund companies. All the uh, these will be definitely picked up by all the mutual fund companies, insurance companies, banks. All of them will definitely have them in their portfolios. So these are that kind of stocks, and they are also if these companies in future come into Nifty Fifty or Nifty Mid Cap, Nifty Large Cap, uh, any of these places, if they come. That itself is going to add more value. More companies, more companies will add them to the portfolio. So look at this not from a shorter term perspective. Look at this at least from three to five years perspective. These stocks are going to be big, big multi baggers. Okay, so you can actually start looking at all these stocks, new age technology stocks. You can start looking at accumulating them. Yeah. Any other questions you have, you can. You can feel free to ask me. Any questions you have, guys? Any of you have any further questions? 
Okay, if there is no further questions, I think we will wind up the session. I have actually covered all the things which I wanted you to understand. Thank you very much. Have a great and prosperous night and uh, uh, happy weekend for all of you. Thank you very much. See you then. Bye-bye.